Okay, real quick tutorial here on using Photom Photomatix Pro, I guess that's how you say it, to create HDR photos. So the first thing you gotta do is get the three different exposure photos on your computer. So here they are for me. And I just use a uh, separation by two different um, stops. So it's like plus two, zero, and minus two for exposure. And then you open up Photomatix and you go generate HDR and you take these three guys and you drop them in okay very cool and I've aligned and reduced ghost artifacts and just trying to keep the defaults for everything else so it loads them into the program and you can see originally that it looks really crappy but over here on the left you can see that it actually does look pretty cool so that's good and then I just click tone mapping and you have these two options, Detail Enhancer or Tone Compressor. And I don't really understand what Tone Compressor does. I guess it just gives you another way of doing it. But I just go to Detail Enhancer and accept the default, which looks awesome, and click Process. And there it goes. And what it's doing now is it's merging them all. And then I go File, Save As and I save the biatch and you're done and then you go in here and here's your new file and you open it up and it looks amazing so it's saved as a JPEG it's awesome compared to the original which would be this middle one right here you can see it's just completely better so yeah, I, I absolutely love this. Uh, and Photomatix even has a batch processing deal, which is really good for just cranking through, you know, 30 or 40 of these. So, yeah, I'm, I'm blown away by how, how easy this is to generate really good-looking photos. And that's just accepting the defaults. I think if you were to take some time and go in and start really tweaking the colors and saturations and all those different types of settings, you can make them look even better. But even as defaults, these are so much uh, better than just a standard photo. So, I'm stoked. Uh, hope you enjoy.